Hey everybody and welcome back. Leo Potzel, that's the channel. Thanks very much for tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe right now if you guys haven't subscribed. And thank you very much for all my latest subscribers. You guys know who you are. I appreciate it and thank you very much. I have a new goal that I would like to set out for before 2016. I would like to hit 4,000 subscribers as I am already at 3,600 and change and climbing. So my goal is for 2016, before it comes January 1st, I would like to have 4,000 subscribers. That would be a fantastic goal to hit and I can't do that without you guys. If you guys been staying tuned to the previous videos on the Leo Potzel channel, you'll definitely remember this 240 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. This tank was purchased from one of my clients off of somebody offline. He asked me to go and move this tank for him and bring it to his new house. You can see that we're looking at the sump filtration system, which is a large acrylic tank, approximately 48 inches by 48 inches by about 16 inches high and is divided up into several chambers along with an external return pump that is plumbed up with some PVC plumbing and some union ball valves, which is ran upstairs to the display tank, the 240 gallon tank. We'll look over here to the right side. This is the water mixing station for water changes. He has his RO water mixed up in one container, in the brew container, and he also has the pre-mixed water that he mixes for the water change in the other container. And then he turns on the pump and it pumps it right back into the sump filtration system. Nice and easy for my client. So once all the fish and corals were all sold out of the 240 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank, we were able to load up the tank and stand into the loading truck and deliver it to the new location. So now we're at the new location with the 240 gallon tank and we still have quite a bit of work to do before we get this tank all set up, such as the sump filtration system. This sump filtration system was provided to me from my client. It was a used sump filtration that he picked up offline as well and he's looking to, for me to build this and design it for him that will work as best as possible in his scenario. So you can see there is one glass baffle that is already there. I'm going to leave that glass baffle there and work around it and incorporate that pre-existing glass baffle into the new sump design. You can see here that I already got some glass pieces here that are already nice and clean and ready to go. I have to cut them to size to the design that I designed to this sump filtration system and then silicone them in. You'll also notice that the sump tank looks much cleaner as I cleaned it with the razor blade and some water. This is part of the preparation you need to do before siliconing the glass baffles in. So here we are the next day, the sump tank is all dry and we're ready to silicone these glass baffles in place. I have them all tied in here, held in place with some electrical tape while I go ahead and start siliconing. So two days later when the silicone was dry, we performed a sump filtration water test. We filled up the sump filtration with water, we placed in a submergible pump and we plumbed it all into this 15 gallon display tank which has a return line for the pump and a drain that goes down into the sump filtration system. So now that the sump is all complete and we know that it's ready to work, we're back at the new location where the tank is and we're ready to get this bad boy plumbed up. We have to plumb up the sump filtration in the basement. So what we've done here is we took out one tile, we measured it all out exactly where it was going to land and where we wanted it to be and now we have access to the basement to plumb in our sump filtration along with our PVC piping. Oh, 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 oh,